Hey there, stationers. Zatrix here. I uh, just wanted to show you a little sort of setup that I made for um, delivering the ingots to the four different machines. As you may know, sorters do have a bit of a problem with uh, changing the outputs uh, to minus one and changing the output mode to zero, which alternates the outputs. Uh, so uh, this is what I did. The basic setup is very simple. Uh, we got uh, three, compare, uh, three compare units, which compare to this uh, little dial which chooses which machine the uh, sorted should output to. And uh, they write, they obviously write to the sorters, to the output, whether it's left or right. Uh, that's a Boolean 0 or 1. When it's 0, it's always the right one. When it's 1, it's uh, the left one. And it sorts between the machines accordingly. Uh, the problem is, uh, for, for that mode to be active, the mode has to be 2. This is actually the mode of the first sorter. Sometimes it changes to zero. Zero is when it alternates the outputs as it pleases. So it goes to the left, then it goes to the right, to the left, to the right, and blah, blah. Uh, and sometimes it resets to zero. So this is a little circuit that I uh, made that prevents that. It always reads the first sorter's state, and then it compares it to one. Uh, then it goes into the uh, min-max unit. Min-max unit uh, outputs one if... Uh, that one is greater if one is greater than two So it never will otherwise it outputs two and then it writes to all the sorters So what will happen is if for any reason? Uh, this number two will change to zero or one doesn't matter This will trigger a refresh of this circuit This will always be two and it will write the two to the sorters again Therefore, the sorters will always stay in um, IC control mode, and we're going to be happy. The other problem that I had was that any time that the sorter actually takes A and ingot, the output state, which should be set by these, changes to minus 1. Observe. And it stays so until the next refresh. And you cannot refresh it. So otherwise I would just have to click the dial all the way through and then to the one that I need. So what I've done here is uh, I'm reading this, the state of the first sorter. Because the first sorter, will all, the first sorter state will always be affected because something will go through it. And then I'm comparing it to minus one. If it is equal to minus one, I, I there's a batch writer that writes to these writers, and it sends them a force write, which will in turn make sure that these writers take whatever values they store in them, one or zero, depending on which number the dial is on, and writes and update the sorters accordingly so for example this should go now to the tool manufactory and there we go and bloom, 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 bloom. there it is and there we are in the tool manufactory I hope this was helpful to you. I'm not sure uh, whether you will use it in one of your bases or not, but um, yeah, well, that's a little setup. Cheers.